So far as the doctors are concerned, because we are also concerned about their safety, we have said that their safety shall be protected, but they must go back to work. We are very clear on that. They have not been able to provide us enough safety. So who, why is he telling that we should be getting back to work? Who is he to tell this without providing us the basic things we have we had demanded? The state government has been telling that they have initiated every step to provide us safety, but I personally and many of us have not seen so many CCTV cameras installed or duty rooms created. We have not witnessed anything. If CISF is deployed here, what about the rest of the hospitals? Doctors are getting regular threats. There are uh, newses which are floating like uh, they are saying that many patients died due to medical negligence or something like this. But this is not true. First of all, we are not afraid of adverse reaction at this moment because we are more afraid for our life. We are here. Uh, my co -PGT, the second year co -PGT, she has been brutally murdered and raped. And most importantly, we have been demanding justice for her. And next, we have been demanding safety for her. But in today's proceedings and throughout in this one month, we are assured that the evidence has been tampered. And we don't even know if justice will be provided to her. And next, we, we have been demanding for our safety. The uh, representation of the state government has been telling that they have initiated every step to provide us safety. But I personally and many of us have not seen so many CCTV cameras installed or duty rooms created. We have not witnessed anything. So, first of all, justice has not been provided. We are not sure who is the culprit. And second of all, they have not been able to provide us enough safety. So, who, why is he telling that we should be getting back to work? Who is he to tell this without providing us the basic things we, have, we had demanded? A doctor has been murdered and raped. Okay. But all the senior doctors are giving all the services since the first day of the protest started okay only as uh, junior doctors are only a certain percentage of doctors who are on the strike and still uh, there are uh, news which are floating like uh, they are saying that many patients died due to medical negligence or something like this but this is not true we are giving all the services the senior doctors are giving all the services or only and we the junior doctors are also running the Avaya clinic and many huge number of patients are attending there. Okay. So, uh, and what uh, the Supreme Court has said, I will say that uh, that uh, will be discussed in a general board meeting and whatever decision will be taken regarding joining in the duties. Okay. So, uh, I cannot comment too much about this. We can only know after the meeting. Uh, for which the protest was done, for which we were protesting, um, that is the justice for Abaya and also the security and safety of the doctors like uh, just now in the Supreme Court it was stated that why aren't the doctors returning to work uh, all those CISF have been deployed here but RG Corps is not the only only hospital in the state and uh, CIF, uh, also if CISF is deployed here what about the rest of the hospitals doctors are getting regular threats because we are protesting we are uh, getting regular threats uh, we don't know from whom I mean I don't want to name but uh, we are getting regular threats so tell me how can can we join, uh, I mean, we can restart the work if we have such uh, threats coming on regularly upon us. So, so also said that if doctors are not returning to work and disciplinary action is taken against them, could we go to find help in that? Uh, regarding that, uh, I cannot say anything concrete because everything has been uh, decided uh, through meetings. So let us see, uh, we will have meetings today and we will decide the next course of our protest.